Hi, I'm here today in Santa Fe at a bead show with fabulous Kim St. Jean, who's going to show us how to do her thinking man, or at least part of it. Part of it. We're going to do the sawing portion of this sawing project today. Portion. This is a pin, a very unique pin. Mm -hmm. You've been teaching this class. Mm -hmm. It involves etching. It involves sanding the etching off afterwards, and then you actually cut out the shape of this head. We do. We cut out, cut out the, um, the extra copper around the head, mm -hmm. and then we have another piece that's um, a map, an etched map on a, on a nickel piece of metal. And it of gets metal attached to that. With cold connections, and we put all kinds of vintage watch part gears in his head to make it look like he's really thinking. Well, let's get started with the sawing. I see that you uh, kind of wear it, your guess, saw. Yeah. Is I that to stabilize it? Yeah, I, okay. keep a, I keep a bruise right there. Okay. The hardest part is getting your saw blade in the right direction. Okay. So it's a thin strip of metal with teeth on one side and mm -hmm. no teeth on the other. Mm -hmm. And when you run your finger across the teeth, because they're so small you can't really see them. Yeah. So you run your finger away from you and you feel the teeth. Okay. If you could see them, they would look like a little Christmas tree, okay. half a Christmas tree. You lock in one end. Here's where the belly part comes. You push into the table. Ah. That sets my frame in a bind. Oh, so that gives it the right tension? Right. Then when I let up, it's nice and tight, and I get a... Oh, all right. it's you a gotta get the right. It is. We can play a song. <laughs> and um, I like to lubricate my blades. Some people do. Some so people is that don't. resin? Or? This is straight, um, honest to goodness, beeswax. Oh. I get from an old couple up in the mountains. Okay. And oh, what cool. I'm using today are two slash O blades. They're very, very fine okay. because I'm using 24 gauge metal. Okay. So this is what it looks like when we've brought it out of the etching solution. Mm -hmm. And then you sand all of the um, the the residue off mm -hmm. and then you get this piece which this piece by itself is nice it you is. could put this in a patina a liver of sulfur and I'd all of this would jump there. out yeah <laughs> a lot of this all this will like really be intensified and jump out at right. you so i'm going to take this piece and i have a um a v slot bench block bench okay. pin here and i put it on the v and slot it has bench a little pin. notch in it it has the v and right. I, I sawed it in there you can tell okay and what you want to do is you want to be in front of your your bench pin and the key to this is to hold your your saw frame very very gently and I tell my students think of cocktail hour p pinky up all right <laughs> because if not you'll get it in a death grip because you're thinking metal I gotta really work and you don't okay. so you start at a point and you get your first cut and you just very lightly and I have teeth from here to here so I want to use those teeth not this Okay, use all of these teeth. Once I get going, I put one finger behind and one finger in front that stabilizes Stabilize. my metal. And off I go. And the trick is to keep my saw at a 90 degree angle whenever possible. Now see, I'm coming around this curve. I kept my blade going up and down at a 90 degree angle. <laughs> I did not turn the blade, I turned the metal. And right. that's the oh. trick. Oh, that's so cool. I feel like I could do that. Oh, every I had brand new people last night. They were working on that project there that's not quite finished yet. And uh, not a one broke their first saw blade. Wonderful. They left with a complete saw blade. I guess I better take your class. Please do. <laughs> You're going around the nose. Here we go. You got it. Keep going. Look at my fat bottom girl there. She's a... Uh, I got a lot of detail in her. You do. And it's all come. about the motion and it the It is. You notice I never gripped the handle. Get that hand behind there again. Wow. Okay. Look and if how you, cool. It's so detailed, even his lips. Yeah, and if you do it really well, like I did on this one, uh -huh. I was able to use that cutout in another project. How perfect. So if you, when you really get good at it, you can use whatever you cut out, your negative space, in a second project so you're getting two done at once. Well, I love this, and okay, I love these go. other pieces you brought to show just all the things you can do. These are negative space. This one I had, was, I had the, the, uh, the ability to start at the end. Right. On these, you can see I had to go up, start in the middle. So you just pop a hole in the piece first, thread your blade up through the hole. And you're there. And then start going. Great. Right. Well, thank you, Kim. Thank you. That was this great. This has been a pleasure.